Welcome to a fresh sip of kosher caffeine with Rabbi Shlomo Ezagui. The Talmud tells us in the direction a person wants to go, that is where God takes him even if it means a miracle and an unnatural event has to happen. The Talmud relates once three sages went for a trip. As the Shabbat was approaching, they decided to stay at an inn. Rabbi Meir, who gave weight to a person's name as an expression of one's character, asked the innkeeper what was his name. Rabbi Meir associated his name with a negative verse in the Bible and decided to hide his wallet in the cemetery. The other two rabbis, Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi Yossi, left their money with the innkeeper. Shabbat morning, the innkeeper approached Rabbi Meir and told him that he had a dream last night. His father came to him who had already passed away and told him that there was a treasure next to his head at the cemetery and he wanted to know from Rabbi Meir what could the dream mean. Realizing that he may have put his wallet next to this innkeeper's father at the cemetery, Rabbi Meir told him not to take to heart dreams of a Friday night. However, Rabbi Meir, he went to the cemetery and he watched his money the entire day so that nobody would take his money away. When the Saturday was over, Shabbat was over, the other two rabbis approached the innkeeper for their money and he denied ever receiving anything from them. This story teaches us, our rabbis say, that because the innkeeper was a thief and that's what he truly aspired and aimed for in life, even if it meant his father's soul coming down from heaven to help him, that's exactly what happened. In this week's Torah portion, when a group of people who were impure and therefore excluded from the Passover practices, they asked Moses and pleaded with him for a second chance. And God himself created a brand new holiday as a second chance for everyone because that is what they sincerely desired. See you next time when we brew our fresh sip of kosher 